Hot dogs! Hey everybody, I have Stahlmeyer hot dogs. I have very low expectations for these. These are a chicken, pork, and beef blend. And I have a three pound bag that was $6. That is cheap. Very low expectations. Maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm going to try these out. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Stahlmeyer hot dogs. And I put a couple of them in the air fryer today. Mainly because I wanted to test these new air fryer liners that I bought on Amazon. This is what the hot dog looks like before we heat it up. So it looks just like, you know, a good hot dog. Stahlmeyer was the brand of hot dogs that they served at Abbott's Field the Polo Grounds in the Yankee Stadium back in the 50s. They're pretty popular in Florida now and they sell them at Jacksonville Jaguar games. So we'll see as they are in the air fryer now. I might put, uh, put them back in the buns and air fry them for another minute after that. But got a lot of comments in the Hot Dog Nation Facebook group that we're not positive with these hot dogs. So my expectations are very low. So I'll see how they go. Um, but when you're buying a three pound bag for six bucks, I'm not expecting the world here, guys. A, a three pound bag of Salem's hot dogs usually costs around 13. So these could be pretty bad. And there the hot dogs are. And it looks like the air fryer liner did what it was supposed to. So I'm kind of happy about that. Collected all the juices that might have spilled. Uh, so I just have to wash the liner and not the actual air fryer. Okay, and uh, I slightly steamed the buns a little bit. And here we go. Let's try these Stahlmeyer hot dogs. All right. Uh, I got to admit that I'm not really impressed with how they came out. Definitely um, seem a little softer than I would like. Let's try it. Okay, they're not bad. I've had bad chicken blended hot dogs in the past. Um, I think my Kunzler hot dogs were an example of that, but these aren't as bad as those. These are okay. These aren't gonna blow you away. They're not the best hot dogs you're ever gonna have. But I think for the price, that I paid for these, they're not bad. I'm not like grossed out, I'm not gonna throw them away. I've done that before with other hot dogs that I paid more for. For, for the price you pay for these, these are, these are okay. I buy, my, I by no means like these, don't get me wrong, I'm never gonna buy them again. I don't think they're worthy of me going to the grocery store and finding them but now that i have them and i have three pounds worth of them um they're fine i'll probably keep a few more in the fridge to eat this week throw the rest in the freezer and uh, just eventually get to them some other time again i'm definitely tasting a lot of chicken a lot of chicken in this hot dog blend, more so than the pork and the beef. Um, that being said, on a scale of PU It Stinks to Sunshine Lollipops and Rainbows, I'm going to give the Stahlmeyer hot dogs an adequate. Now, if I had paid like $12 for the three pound bag, I would be pretty disappointed. But I only paid six. And these are a lot better hot dogs than I have to imagine like those dollar cheap bar S hot dogs are. These are pretty good. Frank the Tank gave them a double.
Are they a double? No, absolutely not. These are barely a single, but they're not bad. If you're on a budget or you're just throwing like a hot dog party for the kids, hot dog party, and you find a 13 pound bag for six bucks, these are pretty good for that. Um, let me know in the comments below, have you had the Stahlmeyer hot dog? I know they have an all beef hot dog. This is the first time I found this brand around me. I can't imagine I'll ever find the all beef around here, but let me know, are the all beef hot dogs that Stahlmeyer makes good? I'm dying to know. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna finish this hot dog.